So a lot of my plans aren't doing so well this winter. I did a whole video about how some of them might not even make it through the winter. But the plants that have really been surprising me are my succulents. They have been popping and showing off. And today I thought I would give them the spotlight. Hello, my name is Palisa. Welcome to Plants and Things. We're talking about plants and things. So before I start, I do want to say that I don't know the names of most of these succulents and that's because I got them as gifts and I tried to find the names and I couldn't find the names and I'm keeping it moving. This is going to be a show and tell and it's going to be pretty pictures without the names, <laughs> without the names because I do not know the names, but they're really pretty. So let's get into it. First up is the succulent, succulent A, if you will. Um, and it's basically this massive tree at this point. It started off as a three leaf, as a three leaf plant in a six centimeter planter. Um, and I got it free from the store called Stodles. And I took it because it was free. But generally I'm not a succulent person, but this plant absolutely surprised me, is absolutely gorgeous. I think at some point when I first got it, it started dying because it was living inside and it wasn't getting enough sunlight, um, which I discovered when I was like, go outside and you can just die in peace outside because I'm not gonna deal with this. And then it went outside and then it started really flourishing and just like just being absolutely the gorgeousness it is now. It does have a lot of pink inside <laughs> and that pink is not from the plant itself it's because it lives close to my bougainvillea and the bougainvillea shed all of its flowers for reasons unknown to me and some of them are stuck in this plant but it is absolutely gorgeous i actually will show you a close-up so you can see how absolutely gorgeous it is so oh, this is a close-up of this plant and as you can see this whole thing where it basically branches off and continues branching off is really really cool and it also has these like has these red edges which i find really really cute i was not enamored with this plant when i first got it i'll be honest the leaf shape felt kind of awkward and meh to me but the whole tree together is just it's just gorgeous and it's definitely one of my favorite plants Right now, am I lying? Hmm, I think it definitely is one of my favorite plants. I love the tree-like shape. I'm trying to be consistent with moving it around because as you can see, this side is lush, beautiful, gorgeous. And then this side, when you look at it, it's like so flat. So this side has gotten more sun, I think, and then rather than this side. So I am trying to move it around, be more consistent, but I, I do love the growth pattern. Um, yeah and i think it really comes together when it's bigger but yes when it was still a smaller plant it was very touch and go for me um and it is very difficult to water when now that it's like like this like it's very difficult to find a place where you can actually pour some water into so yeah but those are like nice life problems Next up is this plant. And honestly, I just decided to move behind the camera. So you can just see close-ups of this gorgeous, gorgeous plant. So when I got this plant, again, a friend of mine bought it for me, which is why I do not know the name of this plant. But I think the first like little plant was basically like this, which was gorgeous. This like two-tone situation is really gorgeous. But, but then this plant completely surprised me and like, once it found sunlight, it grew these, oh my goodness, it's like, <laughs> I'm lost for words, it's like little roses, it's, it's like the little flowers with these pinks, and it's absolutely gorgeous, <laughs> like would I have bought myself this plant, no, but it's also absolutely one of my favorite favoritist right now, or generally, actually once it popped out these pinks and looked very much like a flower I was in, um, let me know if you know what the name of this plant is, but it is gorgeous. I think I tried, I think I tried to propagate it or slash it fell off. So I think there might be two plants in here. Not sure because I think when it first arrived, it fell off. Um, and yeah, 
or like a plant fell off something like that and then obviously as a planty person i was like no we can't waste plants and then yeah propagated the plant but this plant is a absolutely just absolutely gorgeous also it does this jiggling thing which i'm which i yeah which i'm childish enough to find really really cute so yes this plant is definitely showing off um it just looks oh my goodness look at those pinks next up is yet another plant whose name i don't know um sitting next to my bonnie spider plant and this i also got as mm, not also this i got as a cutting i got three cuttings from a friend of mine and then i decided to make two more <laughs> and um yeah and then it just grew and grew and grew and i finally had to hang it because it was growing like look at <laughs> so i finally had to hang it which required that i bring it inside and it's also growing so well now that it's growing its own like it's propagating itself or it's making its own little babies because these aren't plants that i propagated but that the plant is making for itself now which is you know what i love it i love it um i do think that it might possibly probably need a bigger pot because this pot is full of roots um and it's lopsided now but it is full of roots and i'm not even going to attempt to take it out um and it needs yeah a bigger pot but i'm honestly feels like something that's beyond me right now <laughs> because i'm like i also don't know because this hanger is on a shelf and i'm like i feel like i am taking chances <laughs> with the hanging of three whole plants here um so i'm not certain that i will try to get a bigger pot um for this planter though i think if i got a plastic plot maybe it would not be so bad but anyway that's beside the point this plant is popping up it's popping like okay i think one two three four new like plants by itself which is incredibly exciting and it has these very 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 long locks right across is it across next to anyway two spaces down from the succulent that i just showed you is my peperomia hope which is also technically a succulent it is a plant that i have shown on this channel before it is in this little planter um next to this lemon lime it is gorgeous it is gorgeous i have shown it to you a number of times before i like that the trellises they're called trellises anyway are they called that i think i'm making that up no i think that is wrong anyway i love these little vines and i have spoken about the gorgeousness the absolute gorgeousness gorgeousness wow <sighs> of the leaves they have a shimmering silvery gray situation a new leaf situation is popping up it is absolutely gorgeous especially when juxtaposition <laughs> i don't know what appropriate use of the word there with this like like the contrast i think with this because it also is a bluish a bluish green with this kind of turquoisey planter and the not the planter the hanger and the plant i really like it i really really like this plant um and i had a lot of propagations of this plant at a point and thankfully i've sold most of them because i am tired of watering plants but i absolutely also love it when they're really really big and when they're small then i feel like cutting the plant again um let me show you the top of the plant is not looking the best <laughs> it's really not looking the best um but it's not a situation that i'm confronted with all the time um so the point of view <laughs> that i can see which is all of this looks absolutely gorgeous to me look at that guy like <laughs> branching off by itself and this stinky new leaf and there's also like this one that's training upwards which is interesting um so it is growing somebody told me that they actually grow a lot in winter um and i think i found them to grow generally all the time but yes this is my paper Romeo hope 
which is looking absolutely, absolutely gorgeous. Um, last up on my list is another plant whose name I do know, and it is this snake plant, which I propagated from a baby. This was the original propagation leaf. Um, and when I initially did it, I did like two leaves and it took a million years to root. And so I do have special affection for this plant because of that, I think, because it was like, because it's a success story. It even has this, I think this is the watermark stain from when it was living in water. Um, and it insists on being lopsided. I don't know. I don't know why, but it does chill in this little two plants a situation and it doesn't do a lot i will admit that and that perhaps the bar is really low for this particular plant because of how far we've come and the fact that it was like such a propagation success story and that it's continuing to do its thing oh no is that a new leaf oh, something is happening something is happening okay did i doubt it yes is it a new leaf or is it not a new leaf? I don't, mm. I'm just thinking because it's outside and surely the new leaf comes from inside. Anyway, I will, that is very exciting. That is a new something, <laughs> a new something. Okay, um, yeah, I'll be surprised one day if this pot is full because this plant grows really slow but i think once it's established probably it'll grow much faster because i have a friend who's like her snake plant just keeps on growing and growing and growing and growing and she's kind of tired so i think once it's established it'll grow much quicker but it also doesn't live in a highlight situation so yeah but that's my dinky little snake plant that is it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it or a thumbs down if you didn't. Subscribe if you haven't done so already and I will see you next time. Bye.